I'm here with Chad Taylor from Mumble by Merino Stud. Chad, how are the Rams looking this year, mate? Yeah, looking good. Thanks, Ben. It's been a really generous season for growing out Rams. Uh, one of the better autumns we've had and a pretty soft winter too. So we're, we're off into spring with a bit of a start, so we're, we're looking good. Uh, a lot more polies this year and it's been a massive step up with the muscle and fat, which is the traits uh, we've been driving pretty heavily for the last few years and that's really coming through uh, in this year's drop. So it's yeah, pretty exciting to see it all uh, taking shape. So how many rams are available in the sale? 120 this year again, uh, 120 last year, we'll keep it at that for a while. Uh, the grade rams is probably 300 pole rams and a few horns uh, for those that are still looking for horn types. Chad, looking through your sire lines this year, you've got some pretty exciting sires that are on offer. Yeah, we, we pay a lot of attention to the figures and then uh, make sure we match the phenotype to the figures and the size we've introduced have had a big impact this year. Uh, Carbola 399 is a ram that we use for his carcass traits. He's a top 1% of for fat, which is the main reason for using him. Uh, very good for growth and muscle as well. Uh, so we joined him to our better wool types and they've uh, left a pretty well balanced lineup. How many rams have you got available there's, by him? Uh, there's about 25 of his in the, in the sale this year. So he's had an impact. Carbola 115 is another ram we use for his growth and fat. He's a top 10% for of fat. Uh, he's also left some pretty smart wolves. Uh, he joined at the better end of the mumblebone wool, so the balance is coming through from that ram as well. There's nearly 30 rams by him in the sale this year. Um, another ram from outside sources is uh, Leosum 1173. He's a sale ram we bought a couple of years ago. Uh, top 10% for muscle, but it was his wool traits we particularly liked. He's a really high quality wool. And he's a top 2% for fleece weight. We want to make sure we're still packing plenty of wool on these rams uh, as we improve the carcass traits, and this bloke's a ram that uh, should do that. And Chad, um, you've got some some of your own, uh, you know, mumble bone bed stud size as well. Yeah, uh, one was a, a particularly good wool ram that we've joined to our carcass use to uh, to breed the balance uh, from him, uh, mumble bone 816, and he's uh, he's left a lot of good stuff this year. Another interesting ram, which is a bit more speculative, was mumble bone 200. Uh, he was a wool that we're happy to use. wasn't a great wool, but he had two mils of fat, which is pretty rare to find in the industry. So we've joined him to, to wool types again, and he's left some really interesting interesting stuff. Uh, a couple of top size too, so he'd be one to watch. Chad, tell us about balance. Ben, balance underpins exactly what we're trying to do with the breeding. I think the industry sets a very high standard for body weight and fleece weight, but we need to balance that uh, with better muscle and fat to produce a more efficient animal to carry that load of, of body and fleece weight. So we've been focusing very heavily on, on muscle and fat to complement the size and the, and the wool of the sheep, uh, and with that comes a whole list of benefits. Uh, mainly conception rates and weaning rates and lamb survival which is all very closely linked to condition score and condition score is uh, one of the traits that is very closely driven by fat and muscle so uh, I think the industry can really benefit from fat and muscle and that's why we've been driving it so hard in the sheep. And that's the number one, I mean lambs on the ground is the number one profit driver isn't it? It's a massive profit driver and I think the industry is still looking very much at putting more wool on their merinos to, uh, to drive profit that way. I think it's far easier to maintain a good fleece weight of high quality wool, but heaps of lambs used that conceive and drop lots of lambs, lambs that want to grow and thrive even when the conditions are tough. And the traits we need to do that are fat cover and muscle depth. Uh, they're probably still largely misunderstood or not understood in the industry, uh, but they're, they're critically important to, to balance the sheep, to carry big loads of wool on a big body. But to do that, we need an efficient animal, and that's where the fat and muscle comes in. Chad, part of your role as a seed stock producer is you know, to predict the trends for the future and where the industry is going to go. Mate, what traits are going to determine the sort of greatest rate of return for the future? Yeah, it's pretty clear in my mind, Ben, and rather than trying to chase trends too much, we just need a, a pretty good grip on the big picture. And to me, the big picture in the merino, where the opportunity lies, is to breed a more efficient animal. We've got plenty of size in the merino, they're cutting plenty of wool. We just need a more efficient animal that can carry that load uh, when the pressure's on as well as having lots of lambs. It's a bit sort of strange that we've got the merino for wool and then we need to cross it with a border for fertility and then a terminal sire for the meat when we can select the traits all in the one animal. Uh, there's conception rates that are over 150% in the merino. Uh, that's uh, linked very closely to condition score, the efficiency of the animal that comes from muscle and fat. You can see those fetuses converted into live lambs wean. Uh, so we can breed a far more profitable animal by uh, astute trait selection. Chad, you talk a lot about muscle and fat. Uh, how do you fit in against the industry standards? Well, their traits have been driving very heavily, Ben, for the last few years, and, and this crop of rams is uh, the first crop that's really starting to see that work come through. 
uh, the average of the auction rams for fat is 0.7 when the industry is still around 0 or 0.1 so the depth of fat this year is by far the greatest we've, we've had to offer. Uh, the muscle as well this year is, is much higher than it's been. It was uh, 0.4 last year, 0.9 this year. Uh, so with those traits comes, in big picture terms, the efficiency of the animal to complement the growth and the fleece weight. Chad, I've worked with you for well over six years, mate, and the passion and the drive, it, it never wavers. You must really love what you do, mate. Oh, very much so, Ben. It's, uh, it's interesting, each year you, we meet more and more people that are really switched on uh, about what they're doing and uh, really passionate about driving the potential that's still left in the marina, combining the traits that we agree are, are, are very important to put together. The growth, the muscle, the fat, the fleece weight, wool quality, all those traits and there's uh, some people kicking some massive goals and it's just it's great to be working with them and, and also seeing the results come through on the sheep to then flow onto other people's flocks around the country. It's, yeah, it's something to get excited about.